Welcome back YouTubers. In this video, we're gonna be reviewing the Reader Herschel with the Doc Martens collaboration. These shoes are a little more usable on a day-to-day -day basis compared to the Combat Boots 2 that are in my other video. The benefits of these are that they are lower on the ankle and they're gonna be much easier to lace on a daily basis. The other benefit with these are that on the Zappos and Amazon website, which I later purchased, were very beneficial as they go up to a size 12. In comparison, the Herschel website, when they originally released, stopped at a size 11, which wouldn't have fit me. I actually ended up ordering the size 11 in the beginning and I returned those. Again, to repeat what I said in the other video is the size 11s usually are typical for boots in my situation as boots tend to run one size large. So it, it's beneficial that these run two to size, true to size. If you guys have running shoes, try to go off of that size as that will be more accurate. Okay, let's look at the packaging. And again, you guys could pause at any moment to review the small details. Herschel refers to this red and blue as their engineer tag, and you will find this a lot on subtle details such as shirts, hats, usually on the back, bags, and etc. So this has been around for a few years, and it's a way to distinguish if something is Herschel with the red and blue tag. For example, sometimes they will do the red and white, or they'll switch over to the red and blue. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Some thoughtful touches, just as when I reviewed the combat boots, are that they are putting additional stuffing in these air in these areas so that the boots don't bend at any point during the packaging or transportation. So same with these reader shoes. They have additional stuffing to keep them a bit more secure, which is pretty thoughtful. In addition, they are wrapped individually and they are wrapped very well. And for the size of these, they have some weight to them, so they're definitely not going to be your, you know, daily errand shoes. They, I mean, they can be, but these are, you know, a little clunky for the size of them. The benefit is that they're going to be more insulated as they have more material. And this is the leather upper, along with the Cordura nylon. So right away, this is just a little pet peeve, but I'm going to zonk this tag due to the fact that it's falling down. If you noticed on the combat boots, it would stay up. So you're not gonna be able to see this if it's meant to be a perk of the material on this shoe. So if it's gonna bend down, they should have stitched this from the top so that it hangs down as such and you could see Cordura there. But yeah, I'm sure maybe you could iron this and level it out, but yeah, it's just one of the little issues right off the bat. There's one piece of stuffing.
And let's see if these are made in Vietnam as well. Yes, they are. And just like the combat boots, these have the sole in the box. However, if you notice the details, these have a wider, chunkier part, whereas on these edges, there are more lines there. So just the small details, I appreciate the effort, but you know, I should be accurate if they're going to do something like this. Okay, let's have a look with the flash off. Okay, next I'm gonna put them on my feet, do a quick walk around to see how they feel on the foot, and I will give a final review to break down realistically if these are a good daily shoe, a casual shoe, a casual outing, or what uses they would have. Okay, I went ahead and switched out my socks to a, a more typical sock. It's not too thick. The other ones I had were some thicker wool socks. You know, honestly, they do not feel that heavy. I'm kind of surprised. Initially holding them, they're quite weighty, and I guess I was comparing them to a lighter running shoe, but they have a very secure fit. Here I have them laced up all the way. Here I left one hole open, and it is quite incredible how easy these are to slide on. Let me see if I can show you guys with one hand. And even to unlace, you just pull and this thing comes off practically by itself. That is very beneficial when you guys want to wear these on a daily basis. And I feel like there is a lot of support and structure. If you guys think of this like a tunnel where your foot slides in, it is very feels very structured around here and the foot could slide in and out very easily. So it feels very rigid. I was already doing a walk around with these, did a few little laps inside the house. The only area I feel bending is just under the toes here. And this is very typical for shoes, so expect the crease here, but I think because, because of this Cordura material, it's going to hold up much better, especially from here up. This toe is extremely rigid, I mean for, of course for nylon. So I don't expect this to get smashed. It's gonna keep its shape unless you guys are constantly getting stepped on or something. And it's not a steel toe by any means, so don't have the, those expectations. And of course the iconic stitching is just muted, but it makes a presence as well, which I really appreciate. Normally this isn't my brand of shoes, but because of the Herschel collaboration, they got my interest. Next we have the Herschel tag. This is more hidden compar compared to the boots because the boot has the additional piece, but yeah, I think one of my complaints is the labeling. So this label kind of comes down and the Cordura label here, this one's facing up, but this other side is facing down, which again, just little details as such kind of, you know, could be improved upon. The rear of the shoe, again, it's padded here. I'll take these off right now and do a breakdown on that interior of the heel padding and angle padding on the Achilles. Looking at this upper portion of the heel, it is padded and it does have a slipperyish fabric material which would benefit you putting your foot in and out. On the inside, we can see this looks like leather. We know that the exterior two portions here on the upper and the heel are leather as well. The nylon, it is very beneficial to have due to the fact that it is water repellent. Again, most shoes aren't expected to be waterproof, but that is a nice quirk to have. Some of my gripes are that this label is facing down, so that's just quality control, whereas the other shoe has it facing up and here the Herschel tag is facing up but on this shoe it is already starting to face down um, I do think they're a bit on the heavier side for a 
typical shoe. However, once I wore them and you lace them up, they are very structured to the foot. I think that they are rigid and supported very well. The toe is very stiff, like you, you can see there. You might only get a crease around here, maybe, maybe on the inside here. And I do have confidence that these shoes will eventually break in as you walk with them more. One of my main complaints on both the combat boots and these are that they are on the stiffer end. But again, I've never, I've never experienced this air cushion sole from Doc Martens. So those of you that have tried out this design with the air cushion, uh, please let us know how those break in and if they do get more comfortable with time. I am assuming that they do. These shoes really impressed me on, you know, just the heel, the way it's cupped, the way it's rigid, where it matters. Um, the quality is definitely there, and Herschel always makes due diligence when they collaborate with these companies. They haven't done any, I mean, you have Teva, you have Clarks, you have New Balance, you have Doc Martens. These brands are all very uh, known, and if they've been around for years, and their quality control tends to be pretty top-notch. So for $109, I'm blown away by the quality of these shoes. Um, they are a bit loud due to the iconic yellow stitching, the red tab, the two-tone laces, but you can very easily, for those of you that are creatives or you like to customize your own belongings a little more, you could always slap red laces on this. Some scarlet red laces would look cool. Some yellow laces would look cool. Or if you want to mute them a bit more, just throw a solid black shoelace on here, which would you know, make it a little more professional the reflective strip i think is incredible for safety purposes and also for the hype beast people that you know you want to be noticed but it's it's subtle so when a car is hitting you or someone takes a picture they, this will stand out so that's a cool perk and again overall these are doable if you guys have like a business casual or a setting where you need durable shoes i do think these are those shoes that you could wear now these are probably not for like a law firm or something a bit more serious but they're yeah they're, they're pretty casual slash dressy looking right obviously these colors are a bit out there for the more conservative outfits but i can see this with some chinos and a, a polo or a button-up and maybe even a tie you know if it's if it's the culture in your work setting but yeah, overall, I think I'll be keeping these. These are very useful, and I think that the sole, you know, has very good um, structure. So, you know, these won't be giving out anytime soon, along with the air cushion. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, by no means am I a shoe reviewer. I probably missed a ton of points that you guys were hoping for. Feel free to reach out, and I will answer to the best of my abilities. Those of you that do have more experience with these shoes, please, by all means, comment and uh, let's interact in the comments. So again, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and feel free to reach out. Have a great day. Great evening. Bye.